it's Queen DJ and in today's video I will be reacting bringing to episode 6 of Carol and Tuesday so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so the most stupidest thing happened, <laughs> like, a couple minutes ago. I signed into my computer, and I go on YouTube so I can open it up. And it kept, Google kept telling me, or really showing me, that my account was suspended. And I'm like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? I'm like, that brand new account ain't suspended. And so, um, I didn't realize it was my very first account with the 9K subscribers until I clicked my picture and saw the account email with it and I was like are you fuckers kidding me like why is this the default account when the third uh, I was just pissed at YouTube YouTube is so stupid like oh my god middle finger right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who the hell were you talking to? Life is a carnival. <laughs> Seriously? Call it rundown. So, like, the place is almost like Coachella in a way. Is that Facebook now? No, that's um, Wikipedia. I wouldn't be surprised if Facebook was still showing up in the show. I do know that thing is true. That was about another celebrity. I just don't remember their name. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, that's true. 
You don't want that. Uh-huh. Mm -mm. I wouldn't be able to sleep either. <laughs> well, of course she is. Oh, no. <laughs> No, she's not okay. Just nervous. <laughs> yeah. But then you're not gonna have enough energy. <laughs> You're gonna have bags in your eyes. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's exactly like Coachella in the middle of the goddamn desert. Um, yeah, him. You're an arrogant prick, that's what you are. But his music's fucking good. I'm just gonna say that. Prick, but good music. Was he drunk? Yeah, he drunk. I can even tell. Got into a damn fight.
Or the, the, the fact that they're nude. Or like pumpkins or something. Uh -huh. I mean, damn, y'all want a Xanax? Like, I, I don't know if a Xanax is going to calm y'all asses down, but... I'm not old enough to take out of the damn next shit. <laughs> the prick is here. No. Oh, shit. Oh shit, mm mm. Mm hmm. Right now. But Skip doesn't seem all that bad. Well, I can already tell you this is a baby making music.
nice. Damn. Makes you wonder if they're ever going to do, like, a backstory about those two in this series. Relax. <laughs> Don't give him the Xanax. Drink this. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Tim! Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Uh -huh. I mean, at least they're doing good, even though they're getting crap thrown at them. Oh, that's so fucked up. Damn, did he fall? He fucking fell. No, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that just happened. Only you got here ten seconds earlier. <laughs> nope, Nessie, this sound like baby making music too. That that's what it is today. Baby making music. <laughs>
I swear to God, if they don't fucking do a backstory on these two mother uppers, I'm gonna be pissed. Just fucking do it. Shit, and release this damn soundtrack. Like, I swear to God, it's a good ass song. Like, mmm. <laughs> like, that's a song that needs to be on the radio. Like, dead ass. But I know they're doing a, um, a concert in Japan. I wish they could come to America, because if they did, and if I had money, enough fucking money, I'd go see them. Dead ass. Like, oh, God. But seriously, like, no fucking joke. I need that backstory on Crystal and Scope. Like, it seems just the, the freaking songs that they both wrote about each other. My God, like that fucking history. I want to know. I want to be a fly on that fucking wall and just learn certain things about what the fuck happened to them because they must have been madly in love, like so fucking in love with each other. But this business just broke them apart. And it happens like that for like people who are in the music industry or even um, acting, any type of entertainment. It usually happens. And so you, you just feel sad about that. But I'm glad that Girl Do They, they stood their ground, even though after, you know, Omega started performing and they left and they started crying. I mean, like, I wanted to cry too. I just, I had to hold it in. I was like, no. Like, it's okay. Like, <clears throat> not, but for their first time at the Coachella place, like, they did really good, even though they had fuckers throwing shit at them, which is so, well, it's fucked up. But I think if, last minute you have another person to perform instead of the person they're actually waiting for, yeah, people are going to get pissed. But if it's someone who is brand new, they might throw shit at them. If it's someone who was very well known, maybe a little bit top tier than Omega was, then I think people would have been satisfied, but some people still would have been pissed because you never know. Like, when people buy tickets, I think because, like, when... um this past Coachella happened. Like, a lot of people, like, a lot of Blackpink fans, including myself, I wanted to go, but, like, tickets are, like, expensive as fuck. You think I'm gonna buy an expensive fuck ticket? So, no, they got to be able to show it on, um, on a live stream, so I was really, like, happy about that, but then I wish that they kind of did it for, like, Ariana Grande, or, um, oh my god, what's that dude's, um, the dude's name that I like, I forgot his name. Like, any freaking artist, but, like, if, even if, like, Beyonce was there. When Beyonce did her thing at Coachella one time and stuff like that. But, like, it was good. I'm just proud of them. And they stood their ground and stuff. But, like, they got to meet their idol. That's so fucking sweet. Like, and the fact that she said that, you know, it touched someone. And one of them was herself. And there's probably others in that audience that were touched by them. But... We ain't going on until probably either 7, 8, 9, or 10 before, you know, this show is done for the first half of the series and whatever the hell is going to happen. But, like, seriously, I, if I could say if they're going to do an episode on those two characters, I would either wait until the final few episodes of the series or maybe, like, episode 12, which is the halfway point, to just say, okay, let's not kind of focus on Carol and Tuesday. Like, let's just go away from them for just one episode and, like, take a step back to whenever Skip and Crystal were in the industry when they started to the point where they met up and they fell in love and eventually what made them drift apart. Because, like I said, I really want to know about that shit. Both of their songs about each other were so freaking good. I mean, come on, they both sounded like baby-making music. Like, more of Skip's rather than Crystal's. Crystal's sounded like a generic breakup song. Not like Taylor Swift. Like, if you've listened to um, a Beyoncé song, a, um, a Carrie Helson, uh, Mary J. Blige... I'm um, trying to think of other people who I like. It's coming to me. I'm trying to think. No, me, myself, and I is Beyonce. But any typical, maybe like usually an R&B, maybe a little bit of a hip hop song. That's how they mostly sound. And it's just, mm. give me this damn soundtrack. I know it's good. It's going to be on Japanese iTunes. Just release it to US iTunes and I can just buy it next month. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to the episode 6 of Carol and Tuesday. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all <clears throat> officially next Thursday for episode 7. Bye, guys.